take Gullickson in, then we're gonna have a song to wrap it all up, okay? So hang out for another couple seconds, and we will go out with a song by Francis, but not right this moment, Francis. First, we're gonna have Ted Gullickson from the Tennis Union, who's also another tireless fighter against eviction. Thank you, Tommy. So I think we all know that we're in the middle of a second dot, co co dot com bus yeah. In fact, while someone was speaking, I noticed a Google bus stopped here at the bus stop because we have like thousands and thousands of high-tech workers being shipped from San Francisco down to Silicon Valley every day, not to mention all the workers in Twitter and all the other companies in San Francisco making lots and lots of money. In fact, their interns, their college interns, make on average $65,000 a year so these are people with a lot of money and they've been driving up rents and now they're beginning to drive up evictions as they're buying apartments out from under us since 2011 two years ago Alice evictions have more than tripled since last year they've more than doubled and that is not including the ones that don't get filed at the rent board not including the threats and the buyouts which are even many many more and so thus thousands of San Franciscans, mostly long-term tenants, yeah. seniors are all being kicked out of their homes so that wealthy, wealthy people can buy them as condominium type units. Yeah. And as people have said, what Scott Weiner is proposing to do will just make this worse and drive more and more people onto the streets. So when that legislation comes up next month, we need to make sure we stop it so that yes. we stop the evictions. Yeah. We, we fought off the last dot com boom and we have to fight off this one too if we want San Francisco to remain our city. Thank you. Yay! Yay!